Greetings, party people. Today we're going to go into personalizing the Slack interface to match your work style. Why does this matter? Well, you're going to be staring at Slack every day, potentially, if you use it often enough. So you might want it to fit your personality and your working style. You can also change the options so that you focus on only what matters or that you keep on top of everything. And also it has to do with accessibility for those of us who are on uh, certain places in the disability spectrum. So let's take a look on how we can personalize the look and feel of our Slack interface. As usual, you're going to click and go into preferences up here when you want to change something about the settings. And now I'm going to start with the sidebar. So down here you can see uh, the appearance of the sidebar and what shows up and what does not. So the first thing here is about what shows up. Now this is a new Slack workspace so there aren't that many channels. Uh, it's pretty easy to keep on top of everything by keeping this everything choice selected here. However, once this community starts to grow and people are adding their own channels and you're adding some of your own, things can start to get hairy. I've been in organizations that have hundreds of Slack channels. One that I worked with had 900 by the time I left. That's overwhelming. It creates this long cluttered list. So you might want to select only unread and starred conversations. That shows things that you still have to read and also certain channels that you've selected for special interest. Or you can even get rid of the starred ones and go to unread. If you want to, you can separate out your private channels and your public channels. We don't have any private, so you won't see that here. Uh, let me keep it on everything for now. But the basics there is do you want to keep on, on top of every single thing going on in your Slack community, or would you prefer to only focus on the stuff you really care about and you haven't read yet? All right, going down here, uh, you can show all unread messages in this up top if you want to quickly click through everything that you have to go through. This can be particularly handy if you tend to go away and come back and see a long list of unread messages that you want to get through at some point during the day. It's nice to have that handy and available there. You can also sh show the quick switcher. Again, this is a nice tool if you want to be able to quickly move through a growing Slack workspace. You just got to click that and it allows you to immediately move to new channels. So those are your preferences about the quantity and focus of information that shows up about what channels you can join and jump in and out of on the left. Let's take a look at the color scheme. Now, some of us are going to be looking at this every single day, and I've already gotten quite bored of this basic purple slack. So I am always quick to change this color scheme as soon as I got in, but I decided to save it till this moment. Uh, so that you guys could see how I go about it. So there's some custom uh, pre-packaged themes here from the Slack company. You can click through these, see if any of them worked. If you do, uh, if you are somewhere on the disability spectrum that makes uh, accessibility something that you would desire in your work, there are accessible themes down here that are nice and easy on the eyes for people with eyesight issues or color blindness. Feeling adventurous? You can actually fully customize your own theme. Uh, you can click through these and select custom, or if you're familiar with these hex codes, you can put those in as well. Somebody peeks over your shoulder and says, wow, you got a really cool color scheme. You can actually copy and paste this, send it to them straight in Slack, and they can upload the very same. I'm going to go with the white theme to uh, fit this persona of Sammy White. And that's what we got for today of customizing the Slack interface to meet your color preferences and also your work style for focus and keeping on top of stuff.